why not me who creates a YouTube channel and really dive in and go for it? Hey fam, if you are someone who you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel, or maybe you've started and you made two or three videos and you can't seem to push past that, or you haven't seen success and you're thinking about quitting and giving up and you're asking yourself the question, can I really do this and is this for me? If that's you, this video is for you and I want you to keep watching because I am going to cover the things that almost made me quit, that made me pause for a second and I'm glad that I kept going. Those are the things I wanna cover because you likely have some frequently asked questions. You know, I'm gonna cover those frequently asked questions, those things that are probably uh, boggling um, in your mind and you're on the fence right now, you know. Before I begin, this channel is all about tips for social media on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. So if you really want successful tips that's going to help you build your social media platform, subscribe to the channel and like this video. That way it can be pushed out to others who need help or would like to watch it just like you. So I tried to talk myself out of going forward in YouTube because Honestly, me personally, I felt like you had to be a certain color to be successful, you know? And I'm not gonna really say what that color is, but I, I see all these, I saw all these successful people, these kids, these college kids, even these adults, and I'm like, okay, so yeah, this is not gonna work for me. Honestly, I just didn't see a lot of black people. But now, obviously, that's totally wrong, you know, and not to make it that type of thing. That was the first thing that I said, okay, you know what? You are not going to be successful in this arena. You know, and for some reason, I tried to tell myself that I couldn't make it. And you know what? I might as well stick to this and that and do this and that. But hey, look at me now. I'm not exactly where I want to be, but I'm way further than I thought I would be. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm, man, I remember when I was at 2,000, 3,000 subscribers, it kind of does feel like it was just five months ago, to be honest with you. And you know really what it was? I had time to think, and this is probably you as well. What it really boiled down to is, yes, a life is going on. Yes, I have, you know, family, I have things uh, outside, you may have work, you know, but what it really boiled down to is I didn't want to give up certain things, certain comfort things in order to really put in the work. I didn't really see myself putting in the work to do what it took to do or what it takes to do to be successful. And you know, maybe that's you, you know, when uh, I was younger, I was always told, and actually my brother was told that, you know, he feared success. And I said, well, I don't fear success. You know, I, I thought that, you know, that that's not me. And later I understood what that really meant. And really when you fear success, it doesn't mean that you don't want the success. It really means that you don't want to, or you can't see yourself putting in the work, the hard work that it takes to be successful. And that's why I seen all of these people. I saw all of these different nationalities and I said, yeah, I'm, I'm just not gonna do that. Because I'm thinking, you know, they went to school, they went to college, they went, you know, they did all these things and guess what? They put in the work. They, they, they stepped out and dared themselves to be successful and guess what? Now they have these top YouTube channels and, you know, even my race, you know? So when I saw, okay, you know what? You can do it because look at this person, that person, that person, they're this age, that age, this age, you just ain't putting in the work. So that's one of the things that I tried to talk myself out of was, you know what, you can't do it because you're not gonna put in that much work. And guess what, I got a little older and I realized I have time now, I have nothing but time. Put in the time, put in the effort, and success is going to have to follow you. All right, you know, and I wanna tell you, what happened for me is I saw other people doing it and I said, you know what, that can't be me and I, and I can't do it. And I'm psyching myself out. I'm basically telling myself that I can't do it. And then I realized, okay, why not me? Why not me who creates a YouTube channel finds out what he wants to make the channel about? I can choose between all kinds of channels. Why not pick one or two and really dive in and go for it? Why not? So what if I fail? At least I'm gonna get the practice along the way, right? And so that's what I did in 2018. So it's been a few years, but 2018 I set out and said, you know what, 
I'm gonna start this YouTube channel, I'm gonna take it serious and see where I go. And I started out with comedy. And it kind of went somewhere because I had a TikTok channel that had a lot of subscribers and I could put the link in my bio and anytime I made a viral video, they would click on that also and go subscribe to my YouTube channel even though I only had a couple of videos up. But what I realized is unless I had a viral video on TikTok, no one was really going to my YouTube channel to subscribe to the videos because I only uploaded some of the TikTok videos that I did to my YouTube channel. It became like a storage. And then I decided, you know what, let me make a video and uh, longer than a YouTube length and put it on you know, my YouTube channel. And it got some views, it got some comments. And so that's when I really started making longer comedy videos on my channel. I saw no success. I had maybe 20, 30 views, you know, maybe a little less than that, right? People were commenting on my videos first, second, third, treating my long form YouTube videos like TikTok, you know, that they were first to comment second, third. Um, and one day, you know, I, I knew that my channel was gonna be about comedy. Um, and one day, uh, I just decided to make a quick video under a minute or two, you know, on how to do something that was on TikTok, how to, you know, uh, comment with a video reply. It was a new feature. And when I showed or did a tutorial on how to comment a video reply on TikTok, I was surprised that the video ended up getting 10,000, 13,000, 15,000, you know, um, views. I was surprised that the video got, you know, 10,000, 13,000, 15,000 views. And I didn't know where the subscribers were coming from at first. And then I scrolled back and saw, oh wow, this video, you know, it's getting picked up by the algorithm. You know, and that's when I, when I saw that, I said, oh, whoa, 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 okay. I, I think I know what I wanna make this channel about, you know. Um, and at that time I was still doing comedy and I said, I'm gonna start doing tutorial videos, you know, or how-to videos. And that's something I actually like to do. But guess what? At first, I was gonna quit, I was gonna give up. It wasn't for me, you know? And what I found out is that video provided value. That video showed people how to do something. They clicked on the video, they watched it, they typed in YouTube how to do a certain something, and my video popped up. The thumbnail said what the video was about, the description went into detail, the title, you know, uh, gave a, a different, um, angle on what the video was about also, maybe you know a couple of steps, a couple of examples on what I was gonna cover in the video. And I learned the process. I learned how to make YouTube videos and how to make videos that people were going to watch. And that is delivering value. So no matter what your genre is, make sure that you are going to create value in whatever you deliver and you're guaranteed to grow an audience. You know, one thing that I realized and I figured out is you really have to change your mindset. You have to change the way you think when it comes to, you know, are you going to be successful on the platform? You can be successful just like anyone else. Even with the few things that you have, if you have an iPhone, you can be successful. Turn the light switch on, Wait till a sunny day comes through. If you don't have lights, let the sun shine. Make you a five to 10 minute video about something that you're passionate about. Create a good title. See if you can design yourself a, a good thumbnail, a decent thumbnail. But it's all about a good title. What you say now that AI and or the algorithm is picking up what is being said in the video. You know, if I said Annie Dubay in this video, if, if, if I said, you know, any famous YouTuber in this video, that just gets picked up automatically because now the algorithm is recognizing what's being said in the video. And I do have some people that I watch and I learn uh, from, you know, um, a lot of YouTubers that have taught me a lot of things. And I'm telling you right now, make sure that whatever you're talking about in your video, you give it a good title, something that people will want to click on because 
you know what? I want to hear more of what this person's about to say. So when it comes to mindset, if I have school or if I have a day job, when I get home from work, what would a uh, 100,000 subscriber me do as soon as I walk in? Am I binge watching Netflix? Am I watching TV? Or you know, or on uh, the movies, you know, all the digital movies that are out, the streaming movies. Am I listening to music all the way until the evening, until it's time to go to bed, and then get up for school or work the next day? No, the hundred thousand subscriber Quincy, or the twenty thousand subscriber, fifty thousand subscriber, because that's where I'm headed toward next, is gonna come in, and I'm either going to spend time responding to comments, or I'm going to. Uh, chart out my script for my next video or my next two or three videos and I'm gonna say to myself you know what if I don't put in the work success is not going to follow I made that video in 2018 not thinking had no idea that it was going to get up to 18,000 views I just made the video because I was bored one day and I wanted to show people how to do something you know, and when I saw that it got that many videos, the next thing you know, this whole channel is about tips, tricks, tutorials, you know, and how you can do this and how you can do that on, you know, Instagram, Facebook, uh, TikTok, YouTube. And I'm telling you that you can do it as well, no matter what your genre or whatever niche you pick. Change your mindset and you will change your future. I guarantee you right now, if you make a decision to work on yourself and to work on uh, making videos a week and a month at least two or three videos a month at least and put the time and effort in to uh, creating a catchy title a little bit of a description spend about an hour maybe 30 minutes on a thumbnail look up other thumbnails and see what they're doing and see what you can come up with upload the video you'll be surprised you know at uh, the views that you may get and subscribers and who might share the video the other day I was watching something because I was uh, trying to learn more about YouTube because there's people that are where I wanna be. And I heard something that really stuck out to me and they said, are you watching more than you're creating? And they said, you need to create more than you watch. And it just hit me in the face. It hit me like boom, 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 boom. You know, because now I'm like, okay, that's me. I will come in and I may have, you know, watched the news three or four times. I may have watched a show. I may have relaxed a little too much. But if I would come in, create a video, and only have a little time to relax and then go to bed, there's a sense of accomplishment there. You know what? You did this. Yes, you went to work on your full-time job, but your passion is your part-time job. You put in some more work. You should never come home drained and not work on what you really want to do or what you really want to be or squash your goals because you're tired. Put in the work in this short window of time, whether it's one, two, or three years, and I guarantee it'll pay off for you. But if you let your school, job, life beat you up and you don't make time, you're never going to get there. Imagine that just accepting. Imagine just saying to yourself, <sighs> I'm never gonna get there, it's, it's worthless, it's hopeless, then you know what, you're probably right. But I tell you right now, you know, I'm gonna do a video on some of the things that I bought with my YouTube money. It's not a ton of money, but I bought about seven or eight or nine things off of the monthly checks that I have been getting. I'm not rich, you know, but the money comes in handy, trust me. And I'm talking, you know, 300 and something dollars a month. You know, I'm, you know, if you save up that two or three times, you know. Um, and so what I also realize and I want to share with you is you have to set goals. If you're not setting goals on where you want to be, then you're going to start YouTube and then you're going to stop. You're going to start. You're going to stop. So if you're starting in six months, how many subscribers do you want to have? In six months, do you wanna have 50 or do you wanna have 300? Or maybe you know that your content is good. You know that it's super good and you say in six months, I wanna have a thousand subscribers. Then guess what? Every week you need to be pushing out at least two videos. If in six months you wanna see those numbers, 
guess what that means? That means you need to find, you know, 20 minutes a day to, to write up the type of uh, bullet points you want to discuss in those videos if you want to see that. There's one thing that no one can take away from you. If you have a phone or a camera, an internet connection, no one can take you from starting, no one can take you away from starting a YouTube channel. I'm gonna do a whole new video um, in, from in 2008, the mindset that I had. In 2008 and in 2002, I told myself there has to be a way to make money. That's why I'm doing this video right now. In 2008, I said, you know what, there has to be a way. I had this stuff and I had a bunch of other stuff. I had a full-blown studio in my house in 2008 working on music and I was charging $40 an hour to record people's demos and and you know record their singles but at the same time I was working another job and I said man there has to be a way to, to work from home there has to be a way and now with all of these opportunities with all of these uh, things that are available I wish they had YouTube in 2008 but no one was making money like they're making money now. Everybody was just doing funny stuff and, and blowing up and going viral, but no one was making money in 2008 like they're making money now. They were make, they're making a living now. And so when I started in 2018 and I got monetized, I think in 2020, because I wasn't monetized in 2018, when I got monetized in 2020, it was exciting. I got my first, you know, uh, 20 something dollars. You know, and then the, the the next month rolled around. I got six. I got it, it, actually the first month was twenty something, and the second month it was already over a hundred because you have to have a hundred to meet that threshold. The second month was about a hundred and twenty five dollars, and then it went up to two, and then it went up to three, and you know life's been good. But I remember those days when I said there has to be a way to make money online. And to get back to what I was saying, that's one thing that no one can take from you is YouTube. Whether you're thinking music, photography, real estate, dancing, teaching, electronics, you know, um, singing, whatever, computers, reviews, how to, open box, whatever it is, no one can stop you because you can go anywhere in any room outside. You may have to invest in yourself if you don't want the wind picking up outside, get you a, a wind filter for your microphone but just imagine the possibilities. And so I'm here to encourage you, you can do it if you really want it. If you really want it, you'll make about five videos and then one will just take off that you had no idea was gonna do that. And then don't mess around and accidentally get monetized because now you have a viral video and you're over a thousand subscribers and you have 4,000 watch hours and now you can make you know a couple of thousand a month don't do that, right? Because then you'll, you know what? You'll never have to work for anyone else again. Just repeat the process. Do that same thing. Do what you did to do that. Repeat it. The more you show up for success, success will show up for you. The more you put in the work to be successful, success has to follow. Make scripts, record YouTube videos, edit, thumbnail, post. After that comes views, likes, shares, follows. It's not rocket science and you can't go wrong. Hey guys, comment, let me know if this video encouraged you. Are you thinking about starting a YouTube channel? Have you already started, but now you're, you know what, thinking about quitting, it's not really working out for you? Let me know. I would love to help you or give you some tips. Ask me something that maybe I didn't cover in this video. You know, hey, so what about this? What happens when you get to this point? Let me know, ask me. Comment on this video and I will reply and I'll get you the quickest answer I can and show you exactly what I did. All right, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit like, share, comment, um, especially subscribe if you want more videos like this. It's gonna help you grow your platform, all right? And I will see you in the next video.